Hey, what up, man? Not the best night shooting out there, huh? I've had better nights, that's for sure. Don't beat yourself up too much. Happens to the best of us, you know? Just figure out what you can take from it and make yourself better. Yeah, I'm not sure that's as easy as it sounds. Man. Yeah, I know. A lot of it is just practice, though. But trust me, if you put in the work now, it'll pay off in the long run. But hey, man, check it out. I'm headed over to the gym right now. Want to join me? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool, man. I'll see you over there in a few then. All right. Okay, I want you to work on taking good quality shots. Let's see if you can hit 20 in a row and we can get out of here. I'm ready. Let's do it. So as you can see, I got sent to the practice court after putting up a so-so performance from the field. So I'm getting some extra shots in, getting some extra work in, trying to see if it was me or the AI. That entire game I was shooting, I was wondering whether or not it was the actual AI that was throwing my shots off because the releases felt pretty solid to me. But as you can see, folks, I'm back on the sticks. Been away for a few days. I actually caught the flu and it's been killing my voice. But now I'm back. Still a little congested, but I sound a little bit more like myself. And the uh, sexy, very white, deep baritone voice is back for you, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously just clowning around. But I'm at 15 for 15. They want me to knock down 20 straight shots. And my assumption is correct that it was the AI and not myself making me miss all those dang shots so they can put me into this practice simulation. But anyway, I'm wrapping it up. Let's go. 20 for 20. Hitting a three. Uh, get up out of here. Looking good, man. And hey, you might not notice it right away, but this extra practice goes a long way. I hope so. I do not want to have another night like that anytime soon. Yeah, man, I hear that. Look, change doesn't happen overnight. Just keep working hard and the results will come. Hey, thanks. Really appreciate you coming out, working out with me, man. It's nothing, bro. Anytime, man. Hey, my man. <laughs> thanks for seeing me again, champ. No problem. Always willing to listen. I appreciate that. I really do. Oh, hey. I saw the game last night. Oh, you crushed it. You crushed it completely. I made a note to myself. I said, I need to see him again immediately. <laughs> so, I, I gotta know. You thought about my offer? Yeah, of course. And again, I want to say thank you for the offer. It's, it's very nice. Oh, but sure. Please. I can't leave my friend. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I've known him forever, and it's just, it's not, it's not right. No, I understand completely. I mean, friendship is the cornerstone of business, and, and friendship is, 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 is very important. But, I mean, I, I also have to say, it just gnaws at me a little bit. You're kind of doing yourself and your family a bit of a disservice. See, if he was a real friend, he would also know that business is just that. Business. Yeah, it's not that simple. And plus, it's not like I'm struggling to make ends meet right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course you aren't. <laughs> I didn't mean to imply that. You know, but you got to get yours while you can, right? Huh? See, you're not going to be an NBA star forever. And uh, a career ender could be around the corner. You never know. You see, these are your peak years for earning. And, I mean, your friend has probably already talked to you about this, right? No, I'm sorry. That's, you know, that's not even my business. Hey, look. Why don't you take this from me as a sign of good faith? Hmm? No, I, I, I can't accept that. Uh, uh, sorry, it's already yours. <laughs> it's already yours. You just uh, think of it as a, a tiny piece of the things that could be coming your way. I mean, it's... it's. <laughs> thank you. It's, it's very nice. Well, you enjoy that, all right? And we'll talk again soon, okay? Look, man, uh, something I need to talk to you about. You mean my new rival? You know about him? Of course I know about him, man. I'm your agent. I know a lot about what's going on in your world, even if we don't talk about it. Look, I'm sorry. I wanted to talk to you about it sooner. It's just, you know, he's been promising me the world to tell you the truth. He hasn't really had the nicest things to say about you either. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, he's got a bit of a reputation, you know? Yeah, I mean... Seems kind of well-deserved, though. Maybe, but he'd tell you about the 25% cut that he makes off your deals? I mean, I only take 10. Nah, he didn't tell me about that. Did he tell you about the 14 other guys he represents? I mean, you can only split your energy in so many ways, man. I mean, I know he's got an agency and all, but those guys are being pulled all over the place all the time. Yeah, we didn't really talk about that either, truthfully. 
man, look, look, look. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, all right? Of course, he's got connections that I don't have. But his reputation isn't the best from what I heard. And back when we agreed to do this way back when, man, we said it was going to be all about you. You're my only client and therefore my only focus. Now, I know I got a lot to learn, man, but I'm picking up things fast, all right? And I feel like I'm doing a good job for you so far. Yo, I'm not trying to tell you you're not working hard, doing your job or anything, man. I, I just want to be straightforward about you with this, you know? No, I know, I know. And I just want you to know where I stand, man. I mean, I'm your agent, but I'm still your friend, man. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm always going to look out for your best interest, no matter what. No shady business dealings for me at all. I'm, everything that I do is going to be on the up and up, no matter what. Hey, look, I, I really appreciate that. I do. Good. I mean, do you really think that he'd be willing to just whoop you down in some NBA 2K? <laughs> now that, I definitely cannot imagine. <laughs> Come on, man. Strap up, man. Let's do this thing. Wow. Looks like these agents are really competing for my services these days, you know? Guess it comes along with the territory. My character's been on fire lately. And uh, the way that the story is unfolding looks like I'm gonna have a decision to make pretty soon. So, curious to know what do you guys think is gonna happen? Better yet, what do you think it is that I should do here? On one side of the spectrum, I got my boy that I grew up with, been through the world with, you know, my right hand man. You know, I can't just turn my back on him, right? But then on the other hand, I got this agent who's already established, who's making moves. And from the sounds of things, he's already a juggernaut in the industry. He's already making power moves, so you can already tell he's ready. I mean, picking me up in the limo, hooking me up with a nice Louis Monet. I mean, at least that's what it looks like. So anyway, I'm gonna have a decision to make pretty soon. So go ahead and hit me with your thoughts. Anyway, I'm up against the clock, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little bit short, but as always, please remember to click that like button, click that share button, click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Another episode will be coming at you real soon. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next video.